Welcome back everybody. For our next tutorial video we're going to get into the individual settings for your model airplane collectors account. Uh, a lot of people want to know how to adjust some of their email settings for instance uh, so that they don't receive as many email alerts or so they can change some of their profile settings some of their uh, my page settings we'll get into that in this tutorial so we'll click my page over here on the right this is your dashboard this dashboard follows you on every page of our site that is basically a quick link to your inbox to your alerts to your friends list and below that is your settings link that is what we're going to discuss during this tutorial so click on your settings link and it brings up your profile settings first. This is where you can upload or change your member profile photo. I would love to see more people actually upload a profile photo so we don't have to see so many yellow heads all over the site. Uh, it's very simple to do. You have a 10 megabyte limit that is a very wide range for uploading your photo. It automatically resizes to the the box for your your profile so very little work on your part has to be done you just go find your favorite photo and upload it below this is your profile information you can change your name as it appears on our site I would like to see more people use their actual name uh, I think it's a little more personal and the basis behind this site is to get to know everybody on a first name basis so I would like to see more people use their first name there. You can always put your nickname in uh, out to the side in parentheses. Uh, below that is your gender. Obviously, uh, you don't have to display that if you don't want. I give you that option. Uh, and then a little bit about your area. You can enter your zip code here, uh, and only your city will be displayed. Below that is your profile questions. These are the questions that were asked when you signed on to the site. Uh, you can edit those here. You can also upload photos directly to your page from your mobile phone. This is the address that you will have to mail them to. Just plug that into your contacts list on your on your mobile phone and if you're out and you see something you want to take a picture of, just snap it with your phone, email it to that address and boom, it's uploaded to the site automatically. Same thing with your Twitter post. You can connect to Twitter directly from your site. Just click on that box and configure your Twitter settings. Next are your privacy settings click on that. One neat tool is you can allow anyone to see your profile, only site members to see your profile, or just your friends to see your profile. You can uh, basically adjust your privacy settings however you wish. Same thing for your blog, your photos, and your videos. If you just want your friends to see your videos or if you only want your videos to be visible to yourself, there's where you'll make those changes. Under your moderation tab, this is where you can control the comments on your blog posts, your photos, and your videos. You can allow anyone to comment, or just your friends to comment, or nobody to comment. Up to you. When somebody adds a comment to your blog, you can choose whether to publish it immediately or wait for your approval, which will give you the option of reviewing their comment before it's posted to your page. Same thing when someone posts a comment on your profile. Below that, you can have this is your latest activity feed that shows up on your page. This shows all of your latest activities. You can choose which activities will be posted, such as when you upload new items, when you have new comments, when you add a new blog post, and etc. Be sure to save your changes when you're finished. Now, this is the most important setting on your page. These are your email settings. This is where you select what alerts you will receive to your email. Do you want to receive an email when you receive a personal message? Do you want to receive an email alert uh, when somebody posts a comment on your page? When you have a friends week request? Do you want to receive an email alert when someone you invite joins model airplane collectors? Do you want to receive an email alert when someone joins model airplane collectors? This will basically control the amount of emails you get to your personal email account uh, for all of our site activity. You can turn off all of your email alerts by clicking this one button right there. 
be sure to save your changes. Click on your My Page link, and this is where you can adjust some of your settings for your page. For instance, you can change your photo profile in this section as well. You can change the appearance on your page. This is a feature that's reserved only for elite members at this time. You can also upload apps to your page. I have an app directory right here with several third-party apps. Be sure to browse through those. There's several interesting apps. And then you have your connections link. This is where you will adjust all of your connections to outside programs on the web. You can connect through Facebook, through Twitter, through Google, through Yahoo. And you can upload information to these third-party programs directly from model airplane collectors by entering your third-party information here. And with that, we'll go back to our page. And that will conclude this tutorial.